In this tutorial, we're going to show how we can use the canvas resize um, and the layer select and clear in order to create an embossed effect for your letterhead on your stationery. First thing we're going to do is resize our canvas to standard printer size, which is 8.5 by 11. So we go to Canvas, Crop and Resize, and Settings. Settings in here is only set to pixels. Uh, this may change in a later update. Who knows? So what you want to do is multiply the inches by the DPI, which is dot per inch. I want eight and a half times 300 is 2550. 2550. And that's our width. And then the height is 11 times 300 is 3300. And there we have standard printer size paper. We'll click on done. And then what we're going to do is under airbrushing, we're going to use the hard brush. And we're going to set it to the bottom of 2%. You notice how as you go through these percentages, 2% goes anywhere from that size to that size. And we want the bottom of that. So just after it goes from 1% to 2%, that's where we want it. And then we're going to create a flower. We're going to turn on the drawing guide, do an edit, go to symmetry, options. We're going to do a radial symmetry with rotational symmetry. And then we click on done. Let's zoom in a little bit because we want this to be small enough for the top left of our page. And we are going to create an arc. And then I'm going to erase the middle of this arc so we can put a little design in the middle and we'll move straight across from that point to that point do that a couple of times and that gives us a nice little design there. And then let's do a leaf pattern. I'm going to make an S-curve. Uh, wrong direction, I think. Let's make the S-curve going this direction. You might have to undo it several times. And that's okay. And then we'll do another arc going like this. And then we're going to repeat the S curve in the middle. And that gives us a leaf effect. And it looks a little wonky. I want to redo it. That looks a little better. Let's try a more gentle S curve. Yeah, I think that's better. 
we'll replicate our arc here in the middle. All right, so there's the pattern we're going to use for our embossed effect. We're going to turn off assisted drawing, and we're going to turn off our drawing guide. We're going to move this up to the top left of our page. And then we're going to zoom in a little bit. And we are going to duplicate this layer. We're going to turn on Alpha Lock. Let's choose a light blue, very light blue, and fill that. Turn the Alpha Lock off. And then we're going to Gaussian Blur by 2%. Gaussian Blur Layer 2% Then we're going to duplicate this layer Put the Alpha Lock on And we're going to choose a darker blue Fill that layer Turn the Alpha Lock off our bottom layer, we want to tap down and to the right about five times. So we do a select, and five taps down. And then the middle layer, we want to tap five times to the upper left. That looks pretty good. Looks a little blurry right now, but don't worry about that. You can turn off layer 1 so you can see what's going on as you do it. We're going to do a selection on the top layer. Go to the second layer and click clear. And then once again, we're going to select on the top layer. Go to the last layer and clear. And you now have a nice little embossed stylized flower for your stationery. It looks a little large though. So let's group those together and resize it down. There we go. Perfect for a letterhead. You'll get a nice little embossed effect there for your printer. You can put your name, address, phone number, whatever the name of your company if you use your logo. Um, it doesn't matter what picture you use as long as you use the same technique. Duplicate the layer, make a light at the top left and a dark at the bottom right so that you have the differences. Clear out anything that's actually part of the original picture and then turn the original picture off. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and were able to follow along. Everyone have a wonderful day.